So we're going to talk about Fetch AI, known as FET as well, FET. And it is sitting at $1.18 right now, almost $1.2. Its support is still at $1.1. It is still respecting it, but it is back to square one. Now, the thing is that if you look at AVEX and its overall journey, the lowest that it has seen, I think even from 5th of July, let me just check the date. Yes, it is, uh, it is a wick towards $1, but again, it is 1.1 situation. I, uh, this, sorry if I have said AVEX, I just made AVEX video. <laughs> I make 10 videos a day. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube, you wouldn't notice, but when you're covering so many coins, what happens is that sometimes you start mixing names. So Fetch AI um, is pretty much back to where it is. And unfortunately, this was a case scenario with AVEX as well. At least here, the head and shoulder structure is broken. So this is not a reliable head and shoulder. The shoulder and the head and the shoulder. This looks like a head and shoulder, but it is not. There is a flaw in it, and I'll not get into the detail. But over there, we had a very clean head and shoulder. So AVEX is performing as bad as Fetch AI. But in case of Fetch AI, we still have hope. Your support is still at $1.1. And your resistance is at 1.5. There is a mini resistance of 1.3, which sometimes it concurs, it turns into support, but the actual range is 1.1 to 1.5. The moment Fetch AI loses 1.1, it will start entering cents and there will be no stopping. Of course, your first drop will be towards 80 cents. And after that, I'll just start evaluating how more bearish it can get. Unfortunately, in case of AVEX, it hasn't turned bullish. It is losing everything that contributes towards this bullishness let's put it like that and the from the mid of august it will start turning um, the market will start turning further further bearish and if fetchi doesn't go up now after good news of fomc which is happening soon in a few minutes then this is going to be very very uh, bearish case scenario for fetchi